the importance of the centre cannot be overestimated. We believe firmly in the idea of preventing rather than reacting. So this family and community centre is set up with social workers and other professionals involved to provide drop-in sessions but also structured uh, sessions on parenting. Is there any um, reason why the centre has been located in this location? It's no secret that the estate has had a number of antisocial episodes over the last uh, year or two. Um, they become very visible on social media. Is that perhaps one of the reasons why this specific location was chosen? The reason for the location is in fact purely coincidental. This was premises that became available and the Land Management Committee thankfully agreed with the care agency and myself that this was an incredibly good location to be able to provide these services. Yes, like all big projects and all important projects, the planning stage is, it takes a long time because it's important that when it happens that we have ticked all the boxes and done everything properly. It's so wonderful to now see something that has been a project for, for a while to finally um, come to fruition and, and to see it and, and how wonderful it is because it's one thing to have a concept and a design but when you see it you know about to open and be fully functioning and knowing the difference that this is going to make to the community and to people's lives then that's a, a really gratifying thing to be able to be part of. We're trying to open the centre to absolutely any parent. It, it, it doesn't matter uh, um, from any walk of life. Um, we're not expecting just to offer this service to um, parents or families that are working directly with social services. It's here in an estate and we're hoping that it can be open to absolutely any, any parent that has children under the age of um, school. What other active agents will be part of this centre? What are the other agencies that are going to take an active part in its development? Well, we've had um, conversations with health, we've had conversations with CAB, we've had conversations with um, um, Childline, with education, the RGP. So I suppose it's going to be like a multi-agency approach to the service that we provide. Social services works with, with all statutory mm. agencies, health, education, mm -hmm. RGP, youth services, and mental health, it's about us. Social services not, does not treat the person on one aspect. We are made up of many different aspects. So there was a, a bit of a misconception surrounding the opening of the centre. The centre not just restricted to the community where it's based, but obviously open to the wider Gibraltar as well. Yes, it's a community centre that happens to be located in this estate, but it's a, a centre that will, through the um, direction of the care agency, will be open to, to the community as appropriate.